Hi, my name is Fernando, and I'm a technical marketing manager here at GitLab. And today I'm going to go over DAST, or Dynamic Application Security Testing. Once your application has been deployed, it is exposed to a new category of possible attacks, such as cross-site scripting, SQL injection, broken authentication, and so much more. This is where DAST comes into place. It scans and attacks a running application and checks for vulnerabilities. Here's a pipeline containing a variety of different stages. It builds the application container, runs a variety of static security scans, deploys the application to our staging environment, and then runs DAST. Here DAST is run on a staging environment that replicates production using the feature branch. It enables developers to find and resolve vulnerabilities on the running application and not allow them to make their way into production. This is a merge request where DAST has been run. You can set a list of people, usually a security team, that must approve the MR if a vulnerability is detected. This makes sure that the vulnerabilities are overseen by the security team ensuring the proper remediation is being applied. DAST appears as part of the security report. When scrolling through the DAST section, you can see the list of vulnerabilities that DAST has detected. When clicking on a vulnerability, you can see detailed information. Here we have a vulnerability which makes our application susceptible to click jacking. There are details on how exactly it was found where, the severity, and links providing more information. Scrolling down, you can see that a solution is provided. This makes resolution of the vulnerability quicker and enhances developer security knowledge. A developer can also dismiss the vulnerability. Users with access, such as the security team, will be able to see who dismissed the vulnerability, as well as why. This is important for audit reasons. A confidential issue for tracking can also be created if the vulnerability cannot be resolved right away. Let's take a look at the CI YAML. You can enable DAST by adding the DAST template. You can also configure DAST with environment variables. For more information on DAST configurations, see the link in the description. Here's a few things we've covered. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. For more information on DAST and the benefits of using GitLab, see the links in the description. Here at GitLab, everyone can contribute.